South Korea has joined hands with the United States and Japan to press the international community to get more serious about punishing North Korea for its nuclear and missile provocations. Gonsoa has the details. South Korea, the United States and Japan are calling on the international community to actively implement UN sanctions on North Korea. The UN ambassadors of the three countries led a debate at the UN headquarters in New York on Thursday, along with other UN officials, scholars and business people, on the assessment and challenges ahead regarding the implementation of Resolution 2270. It was adopted in March upon Pyongyang's fourth nuclear test in January. Seoul's ambassador Oh Jun said North Korea's four nuclear tests are evidence of the regime's unwillingness to abide by international rules. He added that making Pyongyang's nuclear development difficult and costly is the only way to curb its nuclear ambitions. U.S. envoy Samantha Power stressed the responsibility of member states, saying financial transmissions to the North and goods inspections need to be enforced. Member states need to make sure that unreported or illicit transfers to the DPRK do not actually occur. Japan's ambassador Koro Besho emphasized that the issue is not only a threat to countries close to North Korea. The nuclear question of North Korea, DPRK, is not just a question for immediate neighbors like us, but it is a great threat to the whole world. The meeting also served to press UN member states to submit their sanctions implementation reports to a UN committee. They were supposed to do so within 90 days of the adoption of Resolution 2270. However, the majority have yet to do so. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.